updating software on my uh, Odroid X2. Alright, we press Y right there, just the Y key. Because it's asking, uh, it says upgrade 421 packages. And press Y and hit enter. Okay, okay, calm down, I'm saying, calm down. And literally, all I typed in was S-U-D-O space uh, Y-U-M, which is yum, the package manager, and then space update, and then hit enter, and then put in my password, and then just wait for it. That's how easy it is. And this is on my Odroid X2. It's on my Odroid. It's got a uh, 1.6 gigahertz quad-core ARM Cortex-A9 processor, 2 gigs of RAM. And I got this connected to a 23-inch uh, HDMI monitor. HD monitor, but through HDMI. And then I had to log into my uh, wireless broadband router using my uh, tablet and basically put the MAC address of this device into my network so it will accept it. But I'll let you hear how quiet this is. Oh, Cyan, you need to go pet a beak, okay? Oh, you going to pet beak? You going to praise bronchial buddy? Yeah, I pet bronchial buddy. All right, now this is running. Listen to how quiet. Okay, I'll sign. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. I'm recording video. Listen to, listen to the sound of it. Oh, sign. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay, Daddy's recording video. Don't say anything, okay? You are still saying things. Be quiet, please. Now the tablet's just a couple inches away from the fan. And the fan is the only thing. The fan is the only thing on this Odroid that makes noise. And it's very quiet. It's only about a 40 millimeter fan. About an inch and a half, roughly, in size. You don't even really need the fan if the processor's not throttled very high. Um, they recommend it if you have your processor fully throttled, like you're really stressing it. Putting a big load on it to process. Or... If you're um, overclocking it, which I do not overclock my hardware. And uh, it automatically updated, got the correct time when it connected to the network. And um, just so you know, the uh, amount of system resources. The CPU load while. Um, Keep in mind, this has four processor cores. While updating the system, basically upgrading the software, this thing is doing around, there's about five, maybe about, yeah, you see the system load. It's only using a few, it's using less than 10% of the CPU resources. Okay, now memory. Memory, oh, there's uptime. All right, memory usage is uh, 200. Okay. Yes, you did it. Uh, 285 meg of memory usage. And it's got two gigs in here, but I'm sure some is allocated to video and that sort of thing. And uh, the user is uh, Odroid. Because I'm using the Odroid X2. And today is, today is Monday, May. Daddy loves you. It is uh, Monday, May 12th. Oh, no, you talk to your brother. Daddy's busy making a video, okay? Yeah, hi, brother. Praise be, child. Yeah, pay him. Uh, it's 11.31 a.m. on Monday, May 12th, 2014. And this is Fedora uh, Linux that runs on this Odroid. It's pretty much only a Linux device. And, um... I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, um, not really any proprietary software such as codecs for audio or video. I mean, you're pretty much stuck with, you know, stuff that's GPL uh, compatible, you know, general public license. Um, and this is using XFCE as its uh, graphical uh, 
you know environment it's desktop environment and you see some of the programs that well see this is what I like about Linux so what I like about Linux is it's very organized in the menu for your programs. You got the terminal emu emulator, which I'm running here, gives you command line interface, accessories. You know, G edit. I like it. It's pretty cool. Leaf pad. It's not bad. Um, and then uh, development. You know, for writing software. Um, and stuff. There's games. I got Solar Wolf. That's pretty cool. And Frozen Bubble. What did it? You did it. Yes. And then uh, graphics. Um, what do I got on there? Oh yeah, comics. That's a good e-reader. Um, um, uh, art. You know, comic book archive reader. Uh, GIMP, which is GNU Image Manipulation Program, is really good. You do? Uh, FileZilla is good. Firefox is good. Pigeon, I like it. Really good. Um, I had to install all this to the command line because the um, Audacious, I like that a lot. It's very much like Winamp. Um, Office, yeah, there's LibreOffice, which is basically OpenOffice, which is actually just redesigned from like Star Office or whatever. And Sun Micro, that's right, you you did it on your phone. Uh, Sun Microsystems, like 15 years ago, you did it. Just note, you know, decided that it, it was cheaper to buy to, to actually purchase an entire software company than it was to keep paying the license fees for Microsoft uh, Office on all the systems that they had. And I got some stuff like this on the games. I got, yeah, I got some game system emulators. Not that I really use them on here. But uh, there's a front end, a graphical user interface for the uh, package manager. And what was it? I forgot what it was. Um, it's, um, well, Synaptic package manager is good. I like it. Um, can't remember if it was working or not. Yes, he put the rubber band on the phone. But, um, what was it? Um, I forget. But, uh, I like. maybe it was in settings. I like those. Bluetooth I don't like manager. Those. I don't like those. Okay. But, um, you got a bunch of your settings in here. I mean, it's pretty cool. But the, I'm sure this version of uh, Fedora is, is out of date. It's uh, They have a pretty rapid, you know, cycle on that kind of stuff. I think they only support them for six months. But you get free upgrades and all that. Then again, I'm surprised this is updating. I mean, I haven't used this Odroid in, like... I haven't really used it or updated it in, like... It, it's getting close to a year. But it's letting it work, so um, that's cool. And I guess it's still supported or whatever. It's still main. It's still grabbing packages and all that. This thing cost. This Odroid cost me one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Uh, but the Odroid XU is a good value because it gets a lot more processing power. I wish the. I wish the system on a chip, you know, for the CPU. I wish it had uh, GTS, which is Global Task uh, Scheduling. I'm mean, just seeing see my Odroid like a little bit better. There it is. Listen to them, yeah. That's very quiet. That's like whisper quiet. And um, so anyway, what I was putting on this SD card, 32 gig PNY Pro Elite. Uh, it's class UHS-1, so it's pretty much the fastest speed right now. Um, it does uh, 35 megabytes per second write speed because PNY was. was you did it. What's good about PNY is that they advertise their write speeds, which is very important on flash memory because you know you're always going to get good read speeds. And I think this card, although it says it does 35 megabyte per second write speed, I think its read speed is about 50 megabyte per second. And here's just a USB 2.0 hub, and I just encased it in Legos. 
to hold it up and to give it ventilation underneath and all that. But I'm using this is the nano receiver to my Logitech K400 uh, keyboard touchpad combo. Here it is right here. About thirty dollars. You can get it at Walmart. It's fixed. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Radio Shack. You can get it at um, Best Buy. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. It's about thirty dollars. Pretty good. I've had it for like a little over a year now. And um, in the battery compartment, it even has. Um, now this is not Bluetooth. This is just like two point four gigahertz wireless, like a lot of your stuff. In the battery compartment, it's got a place to put your nano receiver so you don't lose it. Yeah, that's the that's the nylon thread. I'm gonna turn this off so I don't have to worry about doing something while I'm putting the cover back on. Yeah, the Logitech K400R. It's actually pretty good. I, I think it's worth the money. I wish there was a Bluetooth version because this thing works pretty good and all that. So uh, I'm gonna end that for my uh, Odroid. Uh, oh yeah, I got. Um, if you notice, it says. Um, Right there, SE Linux. That's really good. Uh, NSA, the National Security uh, Administ uh, Administration, loves SE Linux. Uh, they really don't like Windows, and they don't even like Mac. Uh, so yeah, SE Linux. That's really good for your system security. Hey, oh, sorry, stop, stop, stop moving me. Stop moving me. You're gonna go to bed. SE Linux. Yeah, it's security enhanced Linux. And it comes standard on Red Hat and uh, Red Hat based uh, GNU Linux operating system distributions. Hey, stop moving me. You're shaking the camera. Yes, Daddy loves you. You're a good boy. Yes, you're, you're Daddy's boy. You turned three years old uh, two days ago on Saturday. That's old. <laughs> Is it old? Well, it's not the newest because uh, Google's getting ready to come out with a new one. Um, but this is a 2013. That's, that's old. <laughs> this is the 2013 uh, Google Nexus 7, 32 gig, and um, that's right. And uh, I got it back in November of 2013, a couple months after it released. And of course today it's uh, May twelfth, two thousand fourteen. So I've had this thing about six months now. I'll play with All right, it's this. still updating now, so I'm gonna I'll play end with it. this.